Yeah, I mean, I, I'll give it a, a, sh- a view on uh, Netflix. It, the um, let's see, I, I have seen High School of the Dead. Um, I recently finished watching the um, what was it? Um, Rosario plus Vampire, I believe that's named the title. You know, that was a, a pretty good anime, and right now the one that I am currently watching is. Think um I know, uh, Kazo no uh, stigma. I hope that I got the t- that title right. It it's centered on this uh, fire wielding tribe, you know that that can control the power of, of fire. And there's one character, the main character, which is the black sheep of the tribe, can only wield uh, wind magic. So basically, I've seen a few episodes. Um, it's pretty interesting. Interesting so far. Um, other basically disowns him because he, after being bested by the uh, other tribe, the uh, I don't think it was the other tribe, but um, one of the protagonists, she beats him by using fire. He still does not know how to uh, wield fire magic, and he ends up only knowing how to use wind magic, and they view that as being inferior. So, you know, he, he is cast out. He, a few years later, he returns, and um, some of the, the members of the tribe are getting killed off by someone with wind magic, so naturally they assume, oh, it's him doing it because he got thrown out. And um, it's it's pretty interesting so far. Um where I've gotten to is um, it's right at the part where he's somewhat cleared, I mean, of, uh, of being framed for, for the murders. Um, you know, he, he comes to, to the tribes. Says, this is a person who's doing it. And he teams up with the girl that beat him years ago because his little brother it, has been kidnapped by the an opposite tribe that wields uh, wind magic, and they try to sacrifice him to uh, release this Yamato g- spirit. Um, but it's it's so far it's pretty good. I I figure I'll end up finishing the other episodes, but um, it, it's a somewhat of a mix between. Mature audience and uh, for all ages. But yeah, yeah. Besides that, there's a uh, Seki Ray. <laughs> Seki Ray. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. It's like uh, I, I've already viewed season. In fact, the, the reason why I even bought season one, and season two on Blu-ray was because I saw it on Netflix and enjoyed it. So then I, uh, you know, I've been. I think I'm. I'm right in, in the middle of season two, pure engagement, where the grand ma- the uh, master game plan. Um, he he basically came with this ultimatum rule that, you know, since there hasn't been any fights going on and the final Sekure had emerged, um, he sends all the Ashikabis an email saying, you know, you guys. You guys, your, your, your sucker rays, they have to fight. If they if, if they do not fight, you know, I mean, I mean, if they don't win at least one fight, they will cease to function. So, you know, that's basically speeding up the whole format. And the, the comedy is pretty funny, in my opinion. I mean, um, there's one comedic scene that I really enjoyed early on for season two where... It's after the. This is where the disciplinary squad is pretty much coming more into the fruit of season two and being more active. And um, I can't recall the character's name. It's the one where I'm sure you you probably remember the the one that has claws, silver hair. I, f- I forgot. I haven't seen Sekere in a while. Yeah, right. the, she, she seems rather obsessed with television. The thing that really um, 
broke me into laughter where that character is that uh, the uh, the other character the the character that got bested by um, she, I forget uh, I, I forgot her name um, it, it's it's the protagonist character. Uh, he, she she's she's trying to hunt her down to get revenge, and the other characters, is, she she's obsessed with recording her television show. So, this is a the scene happens in the uh, in the warehouse where uh, Musabi I, I I think that's his name or <laughs> I'd have to rewatch season one to really get the name of the characters. He, he's been he, her, the the Oshikabe for, for the main show has been captured, and another Sekirei shows up who controls wind, and um, ba- you know the, the other disciplinary squad character has him held captive. You know, yeah, yeah basically, yeah, basically the two the two disciplinary squad members, and it cuts to a part where. For a split moment, you think that another character has come in to help, you know, su- surprising the the opposite character, and it's it's not that at all. It, it the the, char- the character comes to real- the realization that you know I-, I forgot to record my show in HD. I don't I don't I don't know if it was going if it, if it was trying to establish that the character forgot, forgot to record the program, or if they simply wanted to record in high definition. But that was. That was kind of humorous, in my opinion, of turning a... Because I actually thought for a second that, oh, right, some of the characters come in to save the day. No. It, yeah. it turned into a comedic moment there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean... <laughs> I mean, I do need to see second season Sekirei, Pure Engage, but I need to watch that one soon. Uh, right now, let's see. Um, I did finish Excel Saga, which was a fucking acid trip. And it's... <laughs> when, yeah. But you know what? You understand the plot. You can still understand what the fuck they're accomplishing. It's like, wait, I understand the plot. This plot isn't so over the top and so ridiculous that I actually understand it. Okay, wow. Well, Excel Saga, you actually have a, your plot's understandable, surprisingly, because that series is so freaking on drugs. The next, I, have you seen Excel Saga? Are you asking me? If yeah. I've seen it. Yeah, have you seen um, it? No, no, I haven't seen it. Oh, that's a freaking... That is a really, really interesting anime. I You've probably heard of it, haven't you? Say what? Have you heard of Excel Saga? No, I haven't heard of it before. Uh, yeah. Basically, uh, these two girls, one named Excel, the other is a girl who was from another planet who comes down. She dies almost every episode. And no, I'm not mm-hmm. kidding. She dies on almost every episode. They work for this one group who's trying to take over the Earth. It's an interesting series. It is. It's like really out there. Um, <clears throat> the next two series I'm going to be picking up. Um, well, I'm going to finally start picking up One Piece. Start <clears throat> getting into One Piece. I'm going to pick up the first part, season one part, whatever, uh, for a couple, couple weeks. I'm also going to get Blue Gender. And I cannot believe I'm actually going to pick this one up Lucky Star. Lucky Star. It's like. <laughs> uh, aside from that, see, the only. See. Um, the way I mean, I haven't seen it in a while is uh, Street Fighter 2V, and a while back I got the uh, the 20th anniversary edition of Outlander. I, I did see the VHS version. Like uh, some people are actually, you're starting to break but, up. But uh, the, the main reason why I say again, you're starting to break up. Oh, yeah. Can I hear? Am I loud and clear now? I can hear you. We're probably gonna have to wrap this up soon. Okay. Yeah. Um. The Outlanders. It, it, it's a pretty good sci-fi action mature audience. Um. In I enjoyed it when I saw it on VHS a few years back. Um. I found out it was out on DVD. So, but I, I bought it like a couple of months ago. I have not got around to watching it, but um. I do know that uh, Sean Chamel, who does the voice of Goku, um, he, he he's voicing the main protagonist, which uh, it's basically centered on this alien warrior chick, Earth, 
and she starts slaughtering people. And she comes ac- across a, a, uh, a char- I believe his name is Tetsuya. He's a photographer. He's 19. She comes across him, tries to basically, you know, kill him. He he takes her, her picture, which blinds her, and that leads to them basically, you know, she discovers that he's attracted to her, you know, in the way that, you know, what I'm getting at here, that certain reason how she can tell that he's physically, let's just say that she learns very quickly that he's physically attracted to her. And she captures him, uh, captures him, takes him on her ship, and this whole crazy idea of um, she intends to marry him to save Earth because her father wants to destroy the planet. Yeah. But uh, it's a it's a zany comedy action flick, but I enjoy it. Uh, but uh, yeah. Anyways, um. I just want to do a quick to let everyone know what's going to be for next week. We're probably gonna ha- we're going to have a Darth City of Three Turns on. Um, mm-hmm. We tried doing this earlier, but it w- there was some something happened, man. Tomorrow, I don't know, we'll, like so we had a bad connection or something. Yeah, yeah, with, it's like I did this connection. Yeah, with all three of us. So we're gonna try with him next week as well. Uh, anyone else who wants to come on, um, actually, to be a member as well of it, Sailor Samara. I, Send an invite to you if you want to become a member. Um, who else? Uh, that dude with the beard, if he wants to become a member, he can as well. I wouldn't mind having him on. You know, coming back. Um, XAM, if you want to come on as a guest, that's fine. Path of Geo Free, come on as a guest, that's fine. Um, yeah, you guys all can yeah. come on. It's fine. It's not a big deal to me if it's not a big deal to you. Yeah. Yeah, it, it would definitely be interesting to have them come on board and. I don't know if the if the trio if the trio podcast thing would you know work. I mean, we you know we've tried at least twice and there's been disconnects and I don't know. Tr- still trying to figure it all out. Yeah, it's been. I a mean, shit. Patrick Geoffrey, uh, Neo Games Park, and Zam they managed to pull it off. So um, maybe they can text with them and can find out h- how they managed to get it to work because their conversations came out perfectly clear. Hopefully ours came out pretty pretty de- decent. Yeah, well, I'll take a look at everything. But uh, also, th- uh, three wall, you can come on too. Um, and the wall two hundred. If you, anyone else who's interested in coming on, let me know. If you have a Skype account, just let me know, and I'll uh, we'll see what happens. All right. But anyways, yeah. we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, Anything else to add tomorrow? Yeah. Anything else you want to add? Yeah. Say again? Is there anything else you want to add or we good? Oh, um, not really. I mean, we'll check and try to get another one done next week. I mean, depends on when, when, when uh, all three of us are free or whoever is available at the time. All right, then. But you've been listening to the uh, new podcast we're doing. We'll be doing uh, many topics, except for race, religion, uh, race, religion, and politics. Those are the yeah. only topics we won't be touching. But anyways, this is Ash. And this is Mitch Moore. We'll see you next time. So long. Later.